to the DCI headquarters on Kiambu Road. Devolution Principal Secretary Julius Correr was on Monday questioned by detectives from the Directorate of Criminal Investigations over the alleged misappropriation of this amount of money, 1.2 billion Kenya shillings meant for hunger-stricken Kenyans. Now, the PS was queried for close to seven hours to explain how relief food meant for over 2.1 million Kenyans, actually more like 2.5 million Kenyans in 23 counties, was never delivered to the intended drought victims. Let's get more details now from Elfas Lagat. Devolution Principal Secretary Julius Correr arrived at the DCI headquarters along Kiambu Road, accompanied by his lawyer, to record statement over the loss of 1.2 billion shillings allocated for the purchase of relief food for 2.5 million hunger-stricken Kenyans in 23 counties. Detectives spent the better part of the day seeking to establish how food staff allegedly paid for never go to the needy population. <laughs> Detectives say they are looking into reports of misappropriation of the funds at the Devolution Ministry since Correa took over the role of Principal Secretary at the Devolution Ministry early this year. The loss of the billions of shillings now pointing to the recent restructuring at the Devolution Ministry and transfer of the Special Programs Department to the Ministry of Public Service. <laughs> On the 17th of October, the new Permanent Secretary for Special Programs, Nelson Marwa, making revelations that there was a syndicate through which food meant for hungry Kenyans was diverted or repackaged at lower quantity. As part of efforts to stem corruption in relief food distribution, the government rolled out the cash transfer program to ensure relief food gets to all the affected Kenyans. As the reports of massive pilferage of relief money surface, drought continues to ravage millions of Kenyans in the coastal and northeastern counties. An estimated 2.5 million people are food insecure, with experts saying the number could rise further by December. Alpha Slagat, Citizen TV, Nairobi.